Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Iowa Live. It is 932 right now and time to talk to our good friend Kim Bear. Uh, she always uh, opens your eyes with a variety of topics when it comes to the law. And this morning, Kim, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people think they know a lot about. But in reality, uh, things might be a little different. We're talking about common law and common law marriage, right? Yes, yes. I think there's a misperception out there. I think a lot of people, well, what we see when people call into our office, people seem to think that if they've been together for five years or seven years or 10 years, that that means that they're automatically common law married. And, and that's not the case in Iowa. Um, every every state's different, so you'd have to kind of look at, at uh, you know, that state's law depending on where you live. But in Iowa, the court has factors that we look at. And in fact, so you could be common law married within a few weeks or even a month of being together if you meet all the factors. Whoa, 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 whoa. stop, stop. Within a few weeks? How would Certainly. that How would that play out? <laughs> well, First of all, you both, both of you have to have the intent to be married. And so it's not as if, uh, you know, uh, Lou, if you and I were, had been dating for a month and I thought, gosh, Lou's just the best thing since uh, sliced bread, I'm gonna pretend like we're married and I'm gonna start calling him my husband. Well, if you don't call me your wife and you don't have that intent and you don't hold us out as being married, then I, one person cannot create it. But if you both have been dating, you know, for a, a, a certain amount of time and you're living together, because one of the requirements is you have to be uh, cohabitating, uh, you can have a common law marriage. Um, and so uh, there's just lots of factors that we look at. But it, as you said, lots of factors to look at because it is more common for people to live together for many years before an actual marriage takes place. So what else has to happen before you are actually considered a uh, common law married? Right, right. So you both have to have the intent to be married. Uh, you both have to live together. And then uh, the acid test, what, what the court calls the acid test of determining whether or not you're married is a number of factors. You don't have to meet all of them, uh, but you probably should meet most of them. So an example would be uh, you start wearing rings, you call each other husband and wife or Mrs. and Mr. Uh, you, uh, you know, sometimes people, you know, say, well, what about calling her my old lady or my old man? And, you know, I suppose de de depending on how that plays out, that might be a factor. Uh, do your friends and relatives and your neighbors think that you're married? Uh, did you have a ceremony? Sometimes I just recently was talking to a woman and they had ha had a ceremony just in the basement with some candles and it was just the two of them. But at that time, they both said, you know, we want to be married and this is our marriage ceremony. Um, do you have joint bank accounts? Do you have joint credit cards? Uh, the two big factors that I always look for, and you don't have to have them, but they help um, if you're trying to prove uh, common law marriage is did you file joint tax returns? Because you can only do that if you're married. Uh, and did you fill out any health forms, health insurance forms, usually signing an affidavit saying, yep, this is my spouse and I want to add him or her to my health insurance? Which I want to go back a little uh, a moment sure. Kim, because as you said, you do need to be married to file joint on your taxes or to take someone on insurance wise. So how can you do that? if you're not right. proving you're married to begin with. Right. I'm so, confused. Yeah, so, so a good example, let's use Lou and I again. Let's say that we consider ourselves to be common law married. If we, if we uh, are, consider ourselves to be common law married, we can file joint tax returns as a married couple. Because in Iowa, you can be married under the common law. So Iowa recognizes that. So if, if Lou and I decided um, that we were going to be married, let's say we've been together for a couple of years and we say, all right, we don't need a piece of paper. We're just going to be married. Starting that year, we could start filing joint married tax returns. And that would be legal. Um, and that would be legal. It's legal under, under the law. The other thing that we see a lot is um, uh, the health insurance, you know, and um, a lot of times people will, they'll wear rings, they'll kind of hold themselves out as being married uh, and uh, one of them needs health insurance. And so there is usually an affidavit or a form that your health insurance company wants you to fill out. 
So when somebody comes to me, and normally this comes up, somebody's died and the person wants to make a claim under the estate as the spouse, or they're breaking up and the question is, what is their marital property to divide? Am I entitled to half, you know, if, if Lou and I have been common law married, am I entitled to half of what Lou has and is Lou entitled to half of what, you know, I earned during the marriage? Are, are the laws similar? If you do, do you have a common law divorce or do you just say this is done because there's been no paperwork? Right, so that's an excellent question, Jackie. Uh, if, if you can prove common law marriage, then you have to get divorced. So, and you're entitled to half of the items. I mean, I've got a case right now that, you know, I, I told my the potential client, I think we can we can prove common law marriage. That you know, you can never give anybody a guarantee because there's so many factors the court will look at. But arguably, she's entitled to this half of uh, her spouse's um, you know 401k that was earned during the marriage, um, half of some rental properties that were bought during the marriage. Uh, if we can prove they were married. So, wow. So a, a lot more yeah. factors rather than just the seven years and auto automatically you're common law married. So a lot of other things to take into account. Now, people want to chat with you about this a little bit. Kim, can they do so? Yeah, absolutely. Just give us a call at 279-2000 or, you know, the 515 injured. We offer a free 30 minute consultation. So we're always happy to have a cup of coffee and talk about it. Wow, a lot of things to think about, Jackie. As I say, always great advice, Kim. Thank you so much. <laughs> great to see you this morning. Have a wonderful day. All right, you guys too. All right, Thank bye -bye. you so much. All right.